Hello Year 11. From now on we're going to help you to use your Friday registrations really constructively mm -hmm. to get you to support you with revision first for your mocks and then moving through the year towards your summer GCSE exams. So we know that November is a busy month for you. You're still covering lots of course content in all your subjects and you've got your first round of mock exams. We want to help you to get yourself organised and to do as best as you can in this set of mocks um, so that by Christmas you will feel much more confident in preparing for your GCSEs. It's really important that going into a series of exams, you know exactly what you're going to be assessed on and you know the resources that you need to help you to revise. We're going to start over the next few um, Fridays, making sure that you're really clear what's happening both in the November and the January mocks in your core subjects of maths, English and science, and that um, you understand the assessment and that you're prepared for revision in those subjects. Today, I'm going to start off by talking about um, your science mocks in November, and I'm going to mention the January ones as well, just a little bit. Science can feel a little bit more complicated to know what's going on in the mocks because we've got some students doing triple science, others doing combined science, and within combined science we've got some students doing higher and some students doing foundation, and obviously we've got biology, chemistry and physics. So I'm going to clarify now what you are doing um, depending whether you're doing triple science or combined. If you're doing triple science, you're going to do a whole biology paper one in November. Um, this will be a one hour, 45 minute paper, and we want all of your revision to be focused on your biology at the moment. Um, we're assessing it this way because in triple science, every science is assessed individually, and we think it's really important you experience doing a full paper. Looking forward to January, you'll do full papers in chemistry and physics at that point. Ms Fletcher posted a message on the cl your class team at the end of September outlining the um, what will be covered in that mock in November. Um, it's essentially the Unit 1 biology paper. She's listed the topics that appear in that paper and she's attached the specification that you can look through. In addition to that, um, your own class teacher has set you some revision tasks. So you need to make sure that you look on your class team to see the revision tasks and educate quizzes that have been set for you by your class teacher. And also just make sure that you've got a full set of revision resources at home. Please speak to your teacher if you've got any questions about any of that. If you're doing combined science, the assessment structure is a little bit different. If you're doing combined science in both November and in January, you're going to be assessed in biology, chemistry and physics. We've made this decision because when you do combine science, the marks for the biology, chemistry and physics papers all get added together to give you your overall grade. So we feel it's really important that you've got lots of experience in being assessed in all three sciences. In November and in January, all of the papers will be 50 minutes. And in both cases, just so that we can facilitate this in terms of the exam hall, you're going to sit your biology and chemistry exams together. So you're going to be in for one sitting and you're going to spend 50 minutes in each of those papers. And then you'll have a separate 50 minute sitting for your physics paper. In each of the biology, chemistry and physics papers, we're going to assess you on the material that you've just been taught in year 11. Now, I know some of you are working considerably harder than year 11 than you were at the end of year 10. Those of you who are working really hard in both years, brilliant, well done. Um, but those of you who have been working really much harder in year 11 will benefit from being assessed on that recently covered material. And you'll be able to really show how well you've worked this year. You're also going to be assessed on some of your 10 topics. You covered a lot of the course in year 10. It's really important that you go back and revise that. For example, in the chemistry paper, you can expect to be tested on the acids and electrolysis topics, both of which you've been taught in year 11. Now, you actually start both of them in year 10, but you've recapped on that and you've covered the rest of those topics in year 11. So the acids and electrolysis material is quite recent to you. It's all been delivered since September. From year 10 in chemistry, we're going to assess you on atomic structure, which was taught in year 10. We're going to assess you on ionic bonding, which was taught in year 10. But we did manage to do a little bit of revision of that at the start of year 11. We're also going to assess you on metal extraction, which was taught in year 10. And we are able to, to revise that just very briefly in year, in year 11. So you will have covered that briefly, but not in very much detail. It is really important that you give time to revising those year 10 topics in chemistry of atomic structure, ionic bonding and metal extraction. And you also need to check which are being assessed in biology and physics. It's also really important that you're working really hard in your lessons because, of course, the material that you 
are taught in year 11, really we would expect you to be working so hard in lessons and so well focused that that needs less revision than the year 10 material. You will have been set a revision assignment for each of biology, chemistry and physics, and those assignments contain quite a lot of information. They include the checklist to all of the topics being assessed, and they contain educate quizzes that will assess you just on the year 10 material. Now, again, it's important to work hard in lessons in year 11 because you're not going to have time to do as much revision of the year 11 content at home. That's why we've decided only to set your revision educates on the year 10 material to help you manage your revision time a little. So if you look at one of these assignments, um, you'll have one of these for each of biology, chemistry and physics. It will tell you what is actually in the mock. It'll outline the topics that are covered. It will give you revision checklists for each of those topics. Now, don't be intimidated when you click on the folder with the revision checklist. These uh, some links to the revision checklist have also been included in the triple um, material. If you look at the revision checklist, it will look like this, which might look a little bit overwhelming. But actually, if you open them, you'll see that they are the checklists in science are really explicit. It will list literally everything that you need to cover. So I open one, the atomic structure one. If you go through that, you'll be able to see quite quickly which um, bits of the checklist are really familiar to you and which bits need to be the focus of your revision. We've also set you an educate, uh, educate quizzes, like I've said, on the year 10 material. Now, I'm going to do another session in another Friday showing you and giving you ideas of how to use Educate effectively for your revision. So when you go to an Educate quiz, of course, you all know from doing your homework about um, clicking the start quiz um, bit that's at the bottom of the right hand side here. Um, just doing the quiz, getting the score and moving on, is it necessarily helpful in moving your revision forward? What you really need to be doing is doing the quiz, identifying how strong you are in a particular topic. And after you've done that, make sure that you are revising carefully anything in that topic that you're not clear on. Now, associated with the quizzes, and I've seen some students do this recently, do educate quizzes, and a lot of them, even if they found something tricky, haven't thought to go back and look at these resources. Your teacher has included links here on your first educate page two resources that will really help you answer the quiz questions and revise for that particular topics some of them are links to the educate study guides which are really high quality they're really good others are links to things like bite-sized pages or youtube videos which are particularly good for revising that topic so i'd really strongly encourage you to as well as completing the quiz use those revision links that are associated with them to um get more information and to make sure you're really moving yourself forward and then make sure that you're redoing the quiz until you're happy with your score. You want to be redoing it, making sure that you are getting as close to all of the questions right as you possibly can. OK, I hope that's helpful just in clarifying what's going to be in your mock exams and that is helpful just in encouraging you to go on to the assignments, working through the checklist and making sure the educate quizzes are complete. OK, good luck in getting started, year 11.